Hello, my name is Emmanuel Alambo. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Rex State University in Dayton, Ohio. In this session, I'm presenting uh, a position paper of ours that has recently been accepted for publication at the KDD Knowledge Infused Mining and Learning Workshop uh, with a reference number of four. The title of this position paper is A Depressive, Drug Abusive, or Informative Knowledge Aware Study of News Exposure During COVID 19 Pandemic. Outline of my presentation. So I will start off with the motivation for like, conducting this study. Then I will uh, proceed on to a few research questions and then uh, a few uh, research objectives. And then I will walk you through uh, the technique we followed for data collection and uh, our proposed method and approaches. And uh, I will then discuss the experimental findings and results. And finally, I will wrap up my presentation with the conclusion. The motivation for this study. Community-wide depression has significantly increased as a result of uh, COVID-19 pandemic over the last several months. And preventive uh, measures to control COVID-19, uh, such as lockdown, have led to social isolation and increased drug abuse. Media coverage of COVID-19 crisis and the sharing of information on social media platforms have also contributed to depression, thereby exacerbating drug abuse in the public. Research questions. Research question, question number one. Can we quantify and measure the depressiveness, drug abusiveness, or informativeness of news articles during COVID-19 pandemic? Research question number two. Can we assess the emotional tone of news articles across the three dimensions of time, space, and context? Research question number three. Can we learn knowledge on the social media domain and transfer the knowledge acquired from uh, learning on a social media platform to a target domain of exposure to news media. With those research questions, these are uh, three of our research objectives. So we propose a framework for assessing the spatial temporal thematic progression of depression, drug abuse, and informativeness of news articles during COVID-19 pandemic across a selected um, set of states in the United States. And we train a model on a social media domain and transfer the knowledge learned on a social media domain to uh, the news media domain. And we use background knowledge bases to measure how depressive or how drug abusive or informative a news article is um, during this uh, pandemic, during this COVID-19 pandemic. Data collection. Our dataset cohort consists of 1.2 million news articles that have been collected from two sources, the web and GDL, over the period January 1st, 2020 through March 29th, 2020. And we specifically used uh, semantic filtering, which basically entails uh, neural parsing with attention and background knowledge bases such as Wikipedia and uh, domain-specific knowledge base such as the mental health and drug abuse knowledge base to extract news articles that are of uh, COVID-19 interest. So the pipeline you see at the bottom uh, shows the filtering pipeline uh, followed for extracting news articles that uh, we are particularly interested in conducting this study on. So it all starts with the web and GDL resources. Then this is uh, the news articles that have been collected from the web and GDL resources are passed through the neural passing with self-attention um, technique model, and then once a selected set of news articles have uh, passed extractors through the neural parsing self-attention module, then uh, these news articles are in turn passed through the Wikipedia and then uh, through the mental health and drug abuse knowledge base to finally determine uh, a particular set of news articles we want to conduct our uh, study on. So the proposed method and approaches. So we fine-tuned the, the bidirectional encoder representations from transformers in a binary sequence classification task on two datasets, uh, one on subreddit depression and two on subreddit drug abuse. And we used three variants of BERT model for encoding news articles and entities in background knowledge bases to measure depression, drug abuse, and informativeness of news articles. These variants are one, the vanilla BERT, Two, 
the depression belt which we uh, build, which we fine tune the uh, vanilla belt using our uh, suburb depression data set and which we identify as the grab belt. And three, the drug abuse belt, uh, which is a fine tuned belt model over the suburb drug abuse uh, data set. And we label this belt model as the belt. Background and knowledge basis for measuring depression, drug abuse, informativeness of news articles are used for this study are one, pitch in a lexicon, two, drug abuse ontology, and three, DBpedia, respectively. So the pitch in a lexicon is used to measure how depressive a news article is. Similarly, the drug abuse ontology is used to measure how drug abusive a news article is, and the finally, DBpedia um, is used how informative to measure how informative a news article is. And finally, we completed the aggregate score of each thematic category by summing up the scores for the news articles. And then we assigned the category with the highest score as a label for a US state. So the formulation we see below shows uh, the score of a news article with respect to one, uh, one of the, uh, um, the birth variants and two, one of the categories defined for this study. Experimental results. We focus on specifically 10 US states with the highest prevalence of mental disorders according to a report from the Mental Health of America uh, to evaluate intermodal agreement and to also evaluate a uh, model to image report agreement. And we use Jacob similarity index to measure the intermodal agreement and also the model to image agreement. And in the table uh, on the left side, we see uh, the, st the states that have been identified to have uh, uh, the which months to have the uh, depression or drug abuse uh, using the different uh, variants of uh, birth model. For instance, uh, we see on the first column uh, the states that have been uh, identified by the Mental Health America to be showing the highest prevalence of mental disorders. And the second column sh shows the months that have been identified using vanilla birth for each of these 10 states. And similarly, the third column, the birth shows the months that have been identified to be showing depression or drug abuse for each of the 10 months. And similarly, the same holds true for the depression birth labeled DPR birth. So as you can see, the birth looks to be showing uh, a lot of uh, months that have been uh, identified to show depression or drug abuse for each of these 10 states. And on the right side, we see the intermodal and the model to MHA jacket uh, similarity index. So as you can see, uh, let's say uh, the Mental Health America report looks to be aligning well with a drug abuse birth with a score of 0.53, followed by uh, the dep uh, depression birth model. And similarly, we see the highest intermodal uh, similarity between uh, DPR birth and uh, DA birth uh, with a score of 0.62. Conclusion, we model depressiveness, drug abusiveness, and informativeness of news articles to assess the dominant category characterizing each U.S. assistance during the three months, January 2020 to March 2020. We demonstrated transfer learning by fine-tuning an attention-based deep learning model on a social media domain and using it for news media domain. And it turns out drug abuse but identifies the most number of state to month instances as being exposed to depressive or drug abuse news content. And it aligns well with uh, the Mental Health America report as evidenced uh, by the Chakra Similarity Index. Thank you.